Hi, I'm Carl Bishop, and today I'm going to talk about the power of accountability. But before I do, please subscribe, ring the little bell so you know the next time I send out one of these blog posts so you can watch it. So let's talk about the power of accountability. Speaking out loud what your desires, goals, and dreams are, suddenly make them real, not only to you, but to the people that you speak it to. You've heard stories of celebrities when they were kids, they went up to their parents or their friends when they were young and said, one day I'm gonna be a famous musician or famous fill in the blank. Well, that happened with Lady Gaga. True story, she was at NYU and she was relentlessly telling her classmates, I'm gonna be a famous musician one day. And they got so annoyed at Lady Gaga that they made a Facebook group called Stephanie Germanata, her name at birth, will never be famous. Look it up, it's out there. The story of Lady Gaga voicing what she wanted to do with her life is the perfect example of the power of accountability as it relates to your voiceover career. And here's how. When she said it out loud, she believed it strongly in herself and she risked embarrassment and failure by saying it publicly. If you never say, you know, if you keep inside your mind, oh, geez, I want to be a big success one day, but you never say it, it doesn't have any power. When you say it, then it's got power because if you're going to say it out loud, you probably believe it, or at least you desire it. And then you've said it to someone else. So they're going to hold you accountable and you'll feel foolish if you don't accomplish it. Right? So that little bit, that combination right there is a motivating factor. Step one, toward using the power of accountability in voiceover is to find an accountability buddy. A voice actor a friend of yours, they're the perfect person because they understand completely what you're going through, or a casting director friend of yours, or even a therapist. Even if you're paying them, they just have to know you and understand what you're going through. So you've got a buddy, now you form a regular meeting time. That's number two. Regular meetings give you a schedule and it gives you a limited time in which to make some progress toward that goal or develop some process toward working toward that goal. It's gonna take a while, but as long as you start and do a little bit on a regular basis, you're off to the races. Then what this does is the third element here is this action of forming a regular meeting and reporting to somebody is forming a habit. You're, you know that next Tuesday at 9 a.m. you've got to tell someone uh, that you know and that respects you that you have done this toward your goal or you failed to do it. So you're forming a habit. By, by knowing at 9 a.m. next Tuesday you have to report something, most likely you're going to do a little bit every day. So repetition of a task, doing a little bit toward your goal on a daily basis because you know you got to report to your buddy next Tuesday at 9 a.m., is forming a habit, especially if it gives you positive stimuli back, right? So, okay, your goal is I'm going to do five auditions a day uh, through my P2P, okay? So, all right, you do your five auditions a day. Maybe one day you do four, the next day you do six. Um, and then you repeat to your buddy proudly the next Tuesday at 9 a.m., I did my five auditions a day. And he says, great job. You already feel good because you did it. And then he says, great, he or she says, great job, and you feel extra good. That's the positive stimuli, all right? So find a buddy, set a regular meeting, and form those good habits. That's the power of accountability. Thanks for watching today. I'll have another one of these blog posts soon, and please make comments. Feel free. Uh, this is a collaborative process, right? I don't know everything. You don't know everything, but let's take what we know, put it together, and do something great. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.